presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Well, all right, Ohio Valley, it's time to figure out why the rain decided to ruin the party. It seems like as everybody's heading out of work and school, it's starting to get nice out there, but here comes the rain. The cloud coverage overrunning all that sunshine that we could have had. But the good news about that, well, we didn't see any thunderstorm action develop. So that's going to allow everything to get out of here as we head through tomorrow, but it will come with a bit of a catch. So we're going to zoom out across satellite radar, check out what's really going on. Why are we even seeing the rainfall? It seems like everything, every time we start to get nice weather in the Ohio Valley, rainfall or cloud coverage decides to ruin the party. So we had a low pressure down to the south. That's what brought all this cloud coverage up our way, but it's beginning to die. And what the saying is, well, if as it dies, it flies. So that's going to slide out of our region. But before it does that, this low pressure that's actually continuing to develop, it's actually connected to our upper air pattern. This will continue to develop, grab some of this lower pressure and deepen that low as as we head through the East Coast. Now that's not really bad news for us, but more so those into parts of New York, Philadelphia, and then all the way down into Florida. So what does it mean for us over the next 24 to 48 hours? Well, for the next few hours, we're going to continue with the rainfall up until about 7, 8 a.m. Temperatures are going to drop, not to mention as we head through tomorrow morning with that passing cold front. So today's the warm front. We'll step into the cold front right around 7 a.m. That'll bring a little bit of rainfall, but it actually is going to trend dry after that. It's going to introduce dry air, a little bit cooler in terms of temperatures, but not too bad. In the mid to lower 40s, that's higher than it was yesterday. We maxed out right around 41 degrees yesterday just to put that into perspective. Don't forget, though, the breezy conditions could knock that feel like temperature down into the upper 30s. So we start to feel warmer as the wind dies down through Sunday, lower 50s, mostly clear skies. And like I said, just feels more like spring. So if you have any plans or you want to head outdoors, maybe save that for your Sunday. You have March Madness to watch tonight. And well, there's plenty of games on tonight. So predictor wind gusts will start off tonight into tomorrow morning. Not too bad, but things start to pick up just after 7 a.m. We'll see the cold front roll through, then we'll start to dry out in the atmosphere right around lunchtime, getting rid of the cloud coverage. But the windy conditions 20 to 30 miles per hour throughout your Saturday. It's a little bit unfortunate. It seems like we've been waiting all week for this Friday in the big warm up after just a breezy cold work week, but we still have a little bit of rain and wind to get through. So let's time this out on predictor heading through tonight. Light to moderate rainfall. I'm really not expecting anything too crazy with the cold front running through. We could see some more moderate to heavy rain, but still it seems very steady scattered showers throughout this system. Stepping into Saturday morning right around lunchtime, we'll start to clear out the Kyle coverage, but notice where the wind is coming from from the north. So that's going to make it a little bit cold out there when you notice the breezy conditions and just the wind chill. So heading through Sunday, we finally start to get rid of those breezy conditions. The wind becomes light and variable when we start to switch things in the upper atmosphere back to the south. That's going to ultimately allow for a big warm up as we head into your Monday. So get ready for it. Monday is going to be the day to beat. Sunday starts to feel warmer, but it's not until Monday that we actually hit those 60 degree feel like temperatures and it's sunny out there. Tuesday through Wednesday that does lead to rainfall and a passing cold front. But besides that, the temperatures are not rebounding back into those upper 20s anytime soon.